We're on a small urban river today and I'm going to be fishing for one of my favourite species to catch on the fly, the chub. Now these have to be one of the most underrated fish of the lot to catch on light game fishing tackle. Uh, but they're quite spooky, they're no mugs. So it's important we're going to keep really low today so we don't spook them. And in just a second I'm going to show you some of the flies and some of the tackle we're going to use today. So the fish are definitely used to a bit of footfall here. You can see it's sort of a semi-urban venue, it's just sort of parkland here. But that doesn't mean we've not got to be quite careful in our approach. So they're normally facing into the current, so I'm going to be casting upstream to them. And I'm going to be using some really nice, big, dry flies. I've got really simple 10-foot four-way outfits. They're quite light, a four-pound leader, just a little longer than the rod. And I'm going to be using some really big, juicy dry flies, because unlike trout, they're, um, they're, they're quite greedy. They don't mind quite a big mouthful. first chub. It was one of those swims where I didn't think it was going to happen to be quite honest because there was a group of six or so fish of this sort of size that just kept turning away and eventually what they wanted wasn't a dead drifted fly but one that was just gently tweaked and I think that was just the, the trigger. The fly's actually fallen out in the net but you can see it's a whoops it's one of these great big wasp imitations and even even a chub of, this one's probably not much bigger than a pound, even a, even a chub of that size would easily engulf that. That's a, a really pristine looking fish actually, beautiful.
pounds. Absolutely nobbled that. Whoops! Absolutely nobbled that grasshopper. Just changed patterns because they weren't really reacting to the, the dry hop. Look at that! Perfectly hooked to the side of the mouth. Lovely chap. Just about done here on the River Tone. It's been a really interesting session on this very urban bit of water. So we've had a stack of chub of various sizes. Um, best of all was getting them on that dry fly early on. I have to say that as the days wore on a bit though, um, we've had to switch tactics a bit. The wind's got up. The fish have possibly become a little bit wary because we've tried some of the best spots on here a few times. So we're just getting a bit savvy. But um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, don't forget to follow the links at the end of this video where you'll find my website and things like the flies I've been using today and some of the books I've done. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching and see you again soon.